The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Now, the last time I was in Washington, you probably read something about it, I went to a thing called the Washington Correspondence Dinner. Has anybody ever heard of this thing? And I walked in, and the press went crazy. I was leading the polls. And by the way, when I decided that I maybe wouldn't do it, I was also leading the polls. I like leading the polls. <laughs> but I was at the Washington Correspondence Dinner, and the press was going wild. Will the president be speaking about you, Mr. Trump? Will he say anything? I said, I have no idea. Probably not, but I have no idea. So I'm with my wife, and what happens is the president starts. And in all fairness, he was very respectful and very nice. And he just kept speaking about Donald Trump. <laughs> and he kept going about the birth certificate, which, by the way, I got him to show. I got him to show. And nobody else could get him to do it. You know the Clintons wanted to do it, and they wanted him to show it. And McCain and everybody else wanted him to show it. And Trump got him to show it. Now, you know, I don't know exactly what he showed, but, you know, someday uh, somebody's going to figure that one out. Took a long time. So I go in, and he's speaking about Donald Trump for a big majority of his speech. And I'm knocking my wife under the table. I'm saying, honey, can you believe this? The president's talking about me. This is great. What an honor. What a great honor. It's great. I had a good time. And I sat there. I wanted to be a little stone-faced. I'm not going to be laughing and everything. But I, wa I was nice. I was cordial. But I'm telling Melania, isn't this great? The next day, I wake up, and about 90% of the papers said, Trump was humiliated. I was so honored. <laughs> and that's part of the, the, really, part of the problem that the Republicans are going to have. Nobody is protected like Barack Hussein Obama. Nobody. Nobody. I have never seen press that is so protective of a human being before. And, you know, I was thinking, he was over in England, and he made a horrendous toast at a very inappropriate time. And then he signed the ledger, or the registrar, as they would call it, May of 08. So he was off three years. <laughs> and I was saying to myself, I wonder what would have happened if George Bush signed it May of 08. I wonder what would have happened if almost anybody was three years off. And the next day, I watched the news. And they're saying, isn't that cute? Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that was so funny when he signed it. That, oh, oh, he's so smart. It was so funny. And this is a problem. We, we have a man who is being very, very much protected by the press. And it's going to be very difficult. But I'll tell you something about beating President Obama. If you remember, you know, they all talk about he's a great campaigner, he's this. If you remember the end of his campaign during the primaries with Hillary, she was winning every single primary. And he limped over the finish line, barely, barely. And had that been a little bit later, had there been one or two of those early primaries, he would have lost. So, you know, they keep saying, oh, he's a great campaigner. He may be a good campaigner. But, you know, in golf, they have an expression. They say, Johnny, he's looking for the clubhouse. He was looking for the clubhouse. And then you had a problem with the economy, and he got in. And the problem that we have now is unbelievable, because the economy has gotten a lot worse, probably will get a lot worse. The jobs report today, I don't know if you have seen your television sets, but the jobs report today was a total disaster. And it's a problem. It's a real problem. We're up to 9.1 percent, but it's really not 9.1. It's 19 to 20 to 21 percent. That's the real number. We owe more as a country 
than $14 trillion. You know, it's funny. Two, three years ago, you never heard the word trillion. It wasn't a word. Nobody knew what it meant. Today, all you hear is trillion. But we owe more than $14 trillion. And I'll tell you, we need a president. And I think one of the reasons that I have done so well and continue to do so well in terms of a popularity is not because of me. It's because of what I say, because it's, it's basic, it's true, it's common sense, it's business. We need to create a wealthy country again or we're going down the tubes. I mean, we are on a very slippery slope. And if we don't create wealth in this country soon, it's going to be a very, very long and ugly period of time. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.